mean, fuck, uh, <laughs> fuck Russia and fuck their government. I mean, man, they're, this is not a war against like our army. This is a war against us, like people. And um, day by day, we're fighting this war. We're like on the front lines and in the cities. And uh, we uh, hope for uh, Europe and the world to help us out a little bit with the uh, weapon and uh, some other support like humanitarian support and we surely will not give up because there is no such option for us to give up and um, because they, they're just going to kill us that's yeah. that, that's the point if so. we're going to give up we're just going to like end as a country as a nation yeah and as a people because uh, if you know what happened uh, in Bucha uh, Bucha is uh, Kiev, uh, next to the Kiev uh, the little city uh, a lot of people were shot and a lot of women were raped and stuff like that uh, was happening on the daily basis while the Russian troops were there so it's going to happen here in Kiev it's like 30 kilometers from our uh, home you know yeah. so uh, right now, we don't have any illusions about, uh, you know, peace treaties with Russia. So we just keep fighting, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at some point uh, we will uh, stick to guns. <laughs> I mean, uh, mm-hmm. right now we're not, uh, we're like in the, how can you call it? In the, uh, like, is second or third mobilization wave, you know? Uh, but maybe at some point we're gonna also take our, you know, guns and go to the front lines because, you know, mm-hmm. we we need to stop them. We need to stop them for the, for the whole world to uh, to exist uh, for the European and uh, democratic values to exist. You know, so yeah, yeah, and, and it's not uh, the war for uh, territory or for resources. Uh, it's uh, uh, just a spiritual war, a war for a sentiment, uh, because uh, it's it's like uh, bad relationships. <laughs> yeah, we need to end this relationship here and now, you know? <laughs> so The guy is really toxic. Yeah, the, the guy is toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, even this, uh, like, yesterday in the morning, uh, we... Uh, the whole Kiev was cut out of water because they bombed uh, our uh, water pumps. Yeah. So this is like a genocide. Man. <laughs> like, and uh, in winter, it's going to be even more tough. So, yeah. Our statement is get the fuck out of our territory and, yeah. and uh, go leave us, alone. leave us alone and just like go and resolve its statement for Russian uh, army and people. Just go resolve your own problems, mind your own business. We want to live freely and we want to live like we decide we want, you know, that's, that's, that's the point. And uh, there is a good statement about uh, that is popular uh, nowadays in Ukraine that we are ready. It's better one a cold winter uh, uh, <clears throat> than uh, the whole life near Russia. <laughs> Yeah, with Russia. For sure. Let's talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you tell me a bit about the story behind your band? Uh, as I understand, until last year you were called something different, uh, Chasing Embers. Yeah, so uh, uh, I can get this one. Um, so when I joined the band, it was more than six years ago. Uh, it was a band called Raider, and guys used to play trash metal. Um, and when I joined the band, we started to writing something different. It was it was not a trash metal. It was something I don't know, kind of alternative metal, I guess. So, and we realized that the old name just doesn't fit. So we changed it to Chasing Numbers. It was. <clears throat> it was also a name I came up with, and uh, actually, it wasn't that deep. Like it wasn't there. There was no like meaning. We just thought it sounded cool and kind of you know mysterious, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and then uh, we we did a lot with this name. We uh, 
we recorded and uh, released a full-length album. We did a lot of uh, music videos. We did the tour, uh, a lot of shows, you know, all that. And uh, it was the end of 2019. Uh, we uh, finished our tour and it was a big year for us. Uh, and we were so excited. We were about to tour Europe, uh, all this kind of stuff. And then uh, the pandemic happened and we're like, uh, fuck. <laughs> and everyone was like, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, and we just sat uh, tight because, you know, no gigs, nothing happening. So uh, we just started to write some music and it was different again. And uh, we thought that, oh, Jesus, our our name just doesn't fit again uh, <laughs> and we started to think oh maybe we should rename the band maybe, maybe we should we should like you know change the the whole concept because uh it's been like more than a year without you know live shows without you know all this kind of events and we're like all right so it's it's just it doesn't matter if we're gonna keep the same name or we going to rename the band because uh, everything we did uh, was actually pointless because we just need to start it all over again because there was, it was a big break. And yeah, so, so we did, <laughs> we started everything all over again. Yep. <laughs> Where does the inspiration for the music and uh, well, you are, very visual band in my mind too so where where do you draw inspiration where do, where do you get angry from uh, i mean <laughs> right, right now it's kind of obvious but, well, uh, uh, yes of course of course yeah but how it used to be um you know i always think about people i always think about uh relationship with people and um this is what interests me i think that humanity like everything related to uh society humans and all that it's the most fascinating thing i can ever imagine so uh yeah i think i draw my inspiration from that um uh, i'm also used to be depressed as fuck so <laughs> this is also kind of source of inspiration uh, not anymore but yeah that there's just a lot of emotions, energy in this. Uh, so for me, it's this. Yeah, and two more like obvious inspirations because we kind of grew up on certain bands. Uh, we like the more like uh, more bouncy sound and stuff like that. So I guess we can say that we uh, inspired by this wave of the. Uh, early 2000s new metal yeah, in a yeah, way. Yeah. Sure. So a lot of inspirations from there. And also uh, a lot of uh, inspirations from uh, modern music, like modern rap music, um, modern um, electronic music and uh, stuff like that. I, I think I have this uh, like uh, theory that uh, rock and roll, like uh, it used to be in the 2000s and 90s, it's dead. <laughs> in a way that uh, new rock and roll is rap, you know? In mm -hmm. a way, these uh, new rap artists are more rock and roll than the rock artists. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, this is, uh, for me, rock and roll is about the energy. So to express this anger, to express the disappointment, and maybe to, uh, to have this catharsis, you know, uh, inside and uh, let it out. That's rock and roll, and that's how we... Kind of draw. Yeah. This is how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, maybe Vlad can tell us something. Yeah. Uh, I I wrote a lot uh, of music for Chase and Embers, and my inspirations was my feelings, my inner world. Uh, that's why uh, there are a lot of melan melancholic and uh, some more soft stuff. Uh, but uh, now uh, uh, my inspirations um, are. Uh, for example, uh, is everything uh, 
uh, it's not an inner world, it's more uh, outer world, because uh, there's uh, a lot of interesting stuff uh, happening around the world. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> and, uh, and also, yeah, maybe a, a lot of inspiration. I mean, the, the whole like thematic uh, angle of our Ktona music is a bit social in a way that uh, it kind of reflects uh, uh, what it is to live in Kiev and in Ukraine. How uh, how things are going on here? You know what's going <laughs> <Yeah>. on, <laughs> stuff like that. In relationship to maybe we're uh, sending the message to the West in a way, you know. So like uh, a lot of, of from yeah, our the, texts. The message yeah. that we uh, we're also here, but we're different. Uh, this is uh, so this place, Ukraine. Uh, it's uh, we kind of trying to. Uh, you know, join the euro currently, but, and we have a lot of common things, but uh, our, our culture, it's so diverse. It's so, so Kiev, it's maybe one of the most multicultural cities, uh, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we are a bit different and we like it and we not ashamed of it. Yeah, and we and also we have this strong. I guess here we have this strong barbaric flavor in, in people. <laughs> yeah. So this kind uh, this kind of uh, uh, like not very uh, structured society gives us a lot of like this uh, uh, feeling of being on the edge of life. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's maybe uh, one of the inspirations here. I mean, we have a war since. <laughs> since since 2014 you know yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. and we're still like yeah fuck it we're gonna <laughs> live we don't want to leave uh, our country yeah, yeah. so we want to live here we want to be like uh, mm -hmm. with these people and that's that's maybe a lot of inspirations from here so. yeah for sure <laughs> yeah let's uh, talk a bit more about uh, kiev and ukraine as you said you have a uh, a lot of experience already about you know reinventing the band a couple of times again already so what is your view of the metal scene in ukraine of course current situation not included uh, <laughs> it's very sad right now it's going to be a sad topic uh, i mean uh, until pandemic it was uh, i would say promising uh we had a lot of like really cool bands uh but right now, it's just few of them. Uh, I mean, after pandemic, and I mean, after the war started, uh, it's just few of them, like the biggest one. Uh, I mean, you, you know them for sure, like something like Ginger and Space of Variations, that kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, uh, I would say it's pretty dead right now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it has its potential for sure. But um, right now, the, the problem is we don't have a yeah. scene to perform. Yeah, on, yeah? that's that's the, and, the clubs. Uh, you you yeah. mentioned yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After the pandemic, uh, um, yeah, two most uh, two the biggest uh, uh, club uh, venues uh, for performing uh, they were closed and uh, and uh, on uh, their place uh, were. Was built were built uh, some uh, shops. Uh, markets, yeah, like like Seven Eleven, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> something like that. In the in the place where there used to be like a house of metal. Yeah. <laughs> metal. Yeah. So. One of the biggest clubs in uh, Ukraine, uh, the biggest most most big metal club was closed during pandemic, and uh, yeah, it was the club we also had few shows, and it was a great club. So yeah, a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now uh, uh, you, <laughs> key musicians, for example, have an ability to perform in uh, two uh, little clubs. And, yeah, and yeah. Clubs. I mean, it's a uh, if we talk about metal, like metal, yeah, yeah. 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 metal rock, uh, metal and rock. Uh, but so for electronic music, it's more possibilities. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and also, uh, what I wanted to say. Uh, Ah, fuck it, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I would say that it was promising, but now it's rather frustrating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, whole metal in Ukraine is right now 
in America, I know that there is a term, uh, SoundCloud rappers, you know, mm -hmm. like rappers who just post stuff on SoundCloud. It's right now in here, it's like a SoundCloud metal. <laughs> so everyone is just posting new yeah, music. Yeah, I'm doing nothing. Yeah. I mean, uh, shooting some videos and that's it. Yeah. Basically, that's that's the point. That's the scene. Well, right a, a lot of people right now are um, the front line. on the yeah. front lines. Yeah, yeah. from from a, the bands. We know a lot of our friends. Yeah, um, some bands. Uh, all the, the whole band. Uh, all the yeah. members are the front line right now. So that's um, it's uh, a really important reason why. That's why just the reality we live in right now. So, <laughs> but you know, we're not gonna give up. Oh, anyway, I mean, <laughs> still gonna, all of us, I mean, all the bands are still going to make some great music, if we'll survive. I mean. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, it's uh, kind of, um, uh, you get some uh, new a new kind of motivation, because when you're waking in the morning, uh, boom, and oh, oh shit, I need, I need to finish this song today, and I, I need to post it right now, <laughs> because maybe tomorrow I will. Yeah, because maybe there's no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if we could uh, take a look in the future a bit. How do you see uh, the future of uh, Tona? And uh, as I understand, you are writing new music. Yep. Uh, we we were on a break. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, you, uh, you know, one, uh, was yeah. in different countries right now. She came back. Yeah, I came back like two days ago. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, it was a long, long break and uh, a lot of uh, reflection. Um, and now I think we're gonna do something different again. <laughs> because, why, because why the fuck not? <laughs> but, but without changing. Anything. Yeah, but we will keep the name because the I'm, name is I'm, I'm exhausted uh, with the keeping up. I mean, uh, the, name is, is, just the name is genius. <laughs> it's, 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 oh, the music genius. is not, but the name is. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this changing uh, they don't work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This thing we we tried a couple of times. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> the name doesn't work. Uh, yeah, and uh, what's the plan? I think we're gonna gather right now one more time and try to write something good. Uh, yeah. We're not limited with a style, and uh, but it's still gonna be. Um, I think a lot of aggression. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and also a lot of love. Um, yeah, I don't know. About yeah, that. yeah. So, <laughs> I hope. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, that's the plan for future. We're yeah. not gonna. I mean, uh, me and Lad, we have our solo projects. Uh, we do some electronic and other types of music. And Yula is uh, right and, now writing. And Yula has alcoholism, so yeah. she doesn't have a solo project. <laughs> she doesn't have energy for that. <laughs> I'm okay. joking. Yeah, no, she she writes uh, new songs and uh, she will share it with us. Very uh, yeah, soon. maybe we will start with that. Maybe we will work on my songs and maybe something gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, so something that, good or bad, I don't know. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs>